All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for Give Me Five. And I want to take you back in an effort to uh, just continue exposing the crooked media. Uh, I want to show you what uh, happened at the debate, just a quick little exchange, uh, the debate uh, between Hillary and Trump. Uh, here it is. It's just awfully good that someone with the temperament of Donald Trump is not in charge of the law in our country. Because you'd be in jail. That quip, and most people have agreed, and you'll hear, I think, uh, 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 Cuomo uh, say uh, very soon here, Chris Cuomo, that that was a quip. Trump also said he would appoint a special prosecutor and look into that and, and hold Hillary legally responsible for the email scandal. So the next day, Cuomo's got this whole thing going on, this, this, uh, this panel, and I want you to see some of it. Watch. He only said it because he knew it would work with the base. So why does the base like the idea of their president, you know, seizing control of the judicial system and putting somebody in jail whom they don't agree with? You see, here's my problem with this phony. Chris Cuomo has, to me, in the past, called himself Mr. Right Down the Middle. Mr. Right Down the Middle. <laughs> if the middle is out the left window, then he's right down the middle. He just said that the Trump base likes when Trump says he will usurp the judicial system and put his political po opponent in jail. When did he say that? When did he say that? He said, if I was in charge, you'd be in jail. It was a quip for a quip. Okay? And the other thing he said was, I'll appoint a special prosecutor. That's not usurping the judicial system. So Chris Cuomo is either a bald-faced liar, misrepresenting this on purpose, or he's too stupid to know, but he's a lawyer, so he can't be too, too stupid to know. I know, lawyer jokes aside. Here's more. I think out of everybody on the panel, I'm the only one who's actually fled communism and fled dictatorship. And uh, when you hear the potential next president of the United States say that if he becomes president, he is going to unilaterally put a political opponent in jail should scare the bejesus out of all of us. Yep. I can tell you it scared me. I sat there thinking, Lord, if this man becomes president, I'm going to jail. And that's after he waterboards me and he audits me and takes all my money. All right. Anna Navarro is a bitter rhino. My opinion, a bitter rhino. They used to introduce her. She's a friend of, uh, of Marco Rubio, but she's a supporter of, George, uh, of Jeb Bush or vice versa. Now she's just bitter rhino. Okay, always has been a bitter rhino. Uh, tr Trump? Trump said he's good. If he wins, he's putting Hillary in jail. He said that? Really? These people are not stupid. They're just lying. He did not say that. Obviously, he did not say that. Doesn't stop them from lying about it, though. And she thinks she's going to be thrown in jail if Trump wins? Really? You really think he's going to throw you in jail, Anna? Really? This is Sickening, but this is the media. This is the media. More. When she said, it's a good thing we don't have someone like him in charge of the law, although we don't have anyone in charge of the law, he said, yeah, because you'd be in jail. That was a tip for tat. That wasn't a promise. But that's because we big words. Hold on, Those because we believe that he believes we have enough. If, if someone independent were to look at the case of what happened, that there is enough criminal you know, activity. I heard it a different way. Word. I heard it a different way, and that is that all of the voters and the people in America who say that they have so much fatigue from this election and from all of the combat and from all of the toxicity of this election, and they just can't wait till this election is over. What I heard him say was, "No, it will continue. Mm. The vendetta that mm. I feel against this woman. If you elect me." I will continue this. Oh, it's a vendetta against Hillary trying to get to the truth and hold her responsible for breaking the law. Now we find out not one single FBI agent agreed with the head of the FBI in not bringing charges. But to her, it's a vendetta that Trump will continue. There's your leftist media. And then get this from Cuomo. Why is that justice? Why is what we saw with Ken Starr? By the way, Clinton appointed the first special prosecutor into that matter. I don't know why the hell he did that. But <laughs> he, he did. You later. And then Congress came in and brought right. in Starr. What happened there that gave you any semblance of the idea of justice? You wound up having the guy being impeached. The Senate had to save him, basically for having an affair and well, lying about it. He was impeached for having an affair and lying about it. The big shot lawyer, Mr. Right Down the Middle, left out that he lied about it under oath. Little different, Chris? Now, 
I don't have the, the, the text right now. That's my fault. Or uh, tweet, uh, tweets, tweets on Twitter, not text. So I tweeted all this out, taking him to task for leaving out under oath. And I said, gee, Mr. Right down the middle. So he writes about me, called me Mr. Crazy and Mr. Conspiracy Theory. I wrote back to him saying, you're calling me names? You called yourself Mr. Right down the middle. Why am I crazy? And when have I ever put forth a conspiracy theory? Of course, there's no answer from Mr. Right down the middle. So he attacks me with a name, false accusations. But imagine being a lawyer sitting on CNN and saying Clinton was impeached basically for lying about an affair and leaving out under oath.